I am going to spend some time during this video to concentrate on the very heart of poison, the oscillators that generate the sounds that you hear. It is this that is the very essence of subtractive synthesis. Although I will cover more advanced sound design in later videos, this will give you a good grounding in learning how to work with Poison. Master the oscillators and as I will show you in the next video, the filter, and you have pretty much mastered the instrument itself. I am starting with a completely fresh sound here. You can do this by selecting the initialize program from the options drop down menu in the master control section. The controls we will run through in this section are clearly marked in the interface by the bold yellow border. The first section determines the mix of the three oscillators. This is done in two stages. The first control labelled OSC is used to determine the balance of the sound from the two oscillators. Moving far left gives a sound that is totally oscillator A and far right oscillator B. Once you have the balance adjusted the way you prefer, you can then take the results of this and mix this with the white noise oscillator. Moving this control far right gives you 100% white noise in relation to the sum of the other two oscillators and as you back this off, you go back to the pure oscillator sound as defined by the first control. Oscillator A, like oscillator B, is capable of working as both a saw or pulse oscillator. On both of these, the mode of operation is switched by turning on the pulse control, which when active is lit. The difference between the two sounds is quite clear. The saw sound gives a more raspy sound, whereas the pulse sound sounds more solid. In pulse mode, you can then adjust the pulse width control. Moving this to the left narrows the pulse width and has the effect of making the sound thinner. Note the change in the sound that occurs as you move the pulse width control. This in itself can be used as a destination for automation. I will come back to the ring and the sync switches in a second as both of these change the way in which oscillator A is affected by oscillator B. I can set up oscillator B in the same way. I'm going to leave this as a saw sound and set the balance to 50%. When I press a key on my keyboard, you can hear both oscillators working together. Moving back to oscillator A, I can now engage the ring modulation mode. Ring modulation in the case of Poison changes in the way in which oscillator A works. Essentially the output of oscillator A is multiplied with the output of oscillator B and this becomes the new output of oscillator A. Ring modulation is rich in the upper harmonic content and is very commonly used to make metallic or bell-like sounds. In the process though, oscillator B remains untouched. You can also choose to synchronise oscillator A with oscillator B, so that every time the oscillator B restarts, so does oscillator A. Oscillator B lacks both these options, but instead has pitch and detune controls instead. As you gain confidence and experience mixing and matching the two oscillators, you can then begin to understand the variety of different sounds that are available.